Hey everybody, it's Too Fat to Tech here. I finally got my hands on a guess what? Asus Transformer Prime, and uh, this particular model here is a 64 gig model Wi-Fi. And uh, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the product itself and show you uh, some of the features and discuss some of the specs. And I've done a quick uh, a review of it as, as well myself, so I'll tell you my sort of impressions about this tablet. And um, what I'm going to start with first is obviously show you the tablet itself. So basically, it comes with the dock, which I'll be showing you as well. And basically, it's a very well-made tab uh, tablet. Got this uh, brushed aluminium finish, as you can see here. And you basically get a very good bang for your buck for this because it has fantastic specifications and also the extended keyboard which is always useful so that's the box itself I actually have all the components out here now what you actually get along with the box is obviously your charging adapter and the cable so this cable actually goes into your dock as well as your tablet directly as well if you want to just charge your tablet uh, the reason why you can charge your dock is because it actually extends the life of your tablet by a few hours Although Asus has said that you can get up to 18 hours, it also depends on you know your usage of Wi-Fi as well as um, you know if you're watching videos, playing music, etc. Now this is the dock itself, which comes along, and what happens is you actually dock in your your tablet here, right there, and that gives you the extended keyboard functionality as well. It gives you the extra battery life, and um, also gives you the option to type if you don't want to always touch on the keyboard so that's pretty good as well uh, apart from that in the box you also get your you know regular stuff your cleaning cloth instruction manuals and warranty cards so you know just the usual jazz so don't really need to have a look at this now I'll start with the dock first now the dock itself has The uh, a USB 2 slot, it has an SD slot as well, which is pretty good, so you can expand the memory. Although this is 64 gig, it's pretty good, but you can always, you know, choose to, you know, if you want to transfer files. And that's actually the charging port where you actually, you know, put in your charger uh, and your LED for, you know, battery indicator. And that's basically where your tablet docks into. Your trackpad, etc. So, pretty nicely made as well. Very good finishing. Uh, quite, feels quite good, very good chiclet type keyboard, very good to type on it. Now, moving on to the tablet itself. Now, let's take a look at the tablet itself, the ports and the buttons that come on the tablet itself. I'll start with the bottom. So, at the bottom, you basically have the connectors to the dock. So, that's what you use to connect to your keyboard. The one in the middle can also be used to charge your, your tablet, so you don't have to always charge it through your uh, keyboard dock, you can charge it directly to the tablet, so that's pretty useful as well. Um, on the left hand side, you have your volume rocker buttons, uh, connection for HDMI, so this is a mini HDMI port, so if you want to connect to your TVs. And micro SD slot, now this is pretty good because not only does your tablet already come with 32 or 64 depending on which one you buy, the dock also comes with a USB 2 port and SD card slot. So this is an extra memory option on the tablet itself, which is a very good thing that Asus has done. Uh, I believe this is to reset your tablet. And at the top here is your uh, uh, button to power on and off your tablet as well as to put it to sleep. On the other side, you basically have only your headphone jack. Now this is pretty good because not only can you just connect your headphones uh, for audio, but you can also connect a line in mic. So that's pretty handy as well. Now quickly looking at the camera itself. This camera is pretty good. It's an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash. I have not had uh, much time to you know look at the, the uh, picture quality, but from what I've tried so far, it does look pretty good. Uh, much better than the other tablets, uh, even better than some of the smartphones out there. And in the front, you have your basic 1.2 megapixel camera for, you know, for a video conference or Skype, etc. So, you know, taking self-portraits. So that's pretty, I think that's good enough just for that purpose. But uh, it's the back camera that's pretty useful. Not, not that many people use the tablets for pictures, but, uh, you know, it is an, always an extra feature to have. Looking at the tablet itself, this one comes loaded with 3.2 Android, but uh, obviously you can, let me just zoom in, you can actually upgrade it to... Um, ice cream sandwich that's Android 4.0 so that's uh, you know an option as well it's better to upgrade so you get more functionality and 
what I'm going to quickly do is just show you the some of the features of the tablet itself so you know it comes with your regular five desktops like, like most other Android 3.2 devices and this basically is your hub to control your settings and multitasking is pretty good it's, it's very very responsive not not just quick but very quick uh, at the touch of a finger and I've actually opened up a few things here to show you this is like I said your, your settings hub so you can do all your settings through here and if you go back I've actually you know want to show you the browsing experience so that's actually going to a browser now and you know you have your tabs so you can open new tabs as well so what we're going to do is while I'm actually showing you how the browsing experience is I might as well also discuss the specifications of the of the tablet so as you can see it's pretty quick to load normally it depends on all it depends on your your Wi-Fi connection as well but uh, generally pretty fast Keep in mind that this is Wi-Fi only. These only come in Wi-Fi at the moment. Uh, hopefully, they might update it to a 3G version as well or come out with a new model with that functionality. I'll just zoom in a bit more further. And let's just go to the ePad option. Now, these one uh, in Australia at least retail for $899 for the 64 GB model. If you want the 32 GB, that's $100 cheaper. So that's $799 for the... Uh, 32 GB version so as you can see it's pretty responsive you know and obviously your orientation works as well landscape and portrait mode so basically you're getting a 10.1 LED backlit screen uh, it's an HD uh, playback screen so it's up to uh, 1280 into 800 or 1280 by 800 screen and also has a 10 finger uh, multi-touch support 1 gig of RAM uh, like I mentioned, comes in 64 and 32. This is a 64, 1.2 megapixel front camera, and 8 megapixel at the back with flash autofocus, stereo speakers. So your your headphone jack can also be used as a line-in. So that's pretty good. Uh, one micro HDMI port, micro SD card reader, and uh, USB port on the dock. SD card reader on the dock as well. And it the the tablet itself weighs. Uh, just under 600 grams so that's pretty good so yeah that's some of the specifications for the tablet very good screen very good build quality as well now looking at maybe video playback so I've actually loaded one of my videos from YouTube on here so I can show you the the quality of the video I've actually set it to load uh, HD quality videos so, uh, like all of the tablets, it does, you know, attract fingerprints and dirt. So, as you can see here, so you have to sort of, you know, maintain it by cleaning it once in a while. But um, normally, as long as you maintain it, it should be fine. So, there you go. That's actually playing back one of my videos from YouTube. And I'm just going to put up the volume. So, just just watch a couple of uh, seconds just to show you the the video quality. What's up? and the sound so it's actually on Mac Mox volume it's a very good quality as you can see the playback uh, if you're watching an HD video you'll actually see that it's actually playing back in full HD uh, this particular video is in 720 and it's actually you can see it's, it's very clear very crisp so the screen is fantastic on that so let's just go back yeah so basically just wanted to give you a quick look at the tablet talk to you about the specifications um, it is one of the best tablets in the market right now, especially if you want quad-core because this is the only one that is available at the moment with quad-core processors. And uh, obviously, you know, the extra functionality, the dock is always a plus. Uh, I might as well show you how it looks when it's docked onto the keyboard. So, basically I've docked it onto the keyboard now. And... This is how it actually looks. So, just like a notebook, uh, sorry, netbook. And when you shut it, it you know, it's quite quite slim. The tablet itself is about eight millimeters thick, which which is very impressive. And the finishing uh, is something I, I you know I like really. But yeah, that, that's uh, what it is. And once again, a quick look around when it's docked onto the keyboard, just like a netbook. And you know when you when you don't want it you know, too heavy and want to just carry the tablet along, you just have to take it off the dock. And how you do that is basically you have to just slide this lock to one side and pull out the tablet. That, 
that's how easy it is. So guys, that's a look at the Asus Transformer Prime. This is a 64 gig model. If you're in the market for an Android tablet, anything that's not on Windows or, you know, iPad, this is the way to go. And this is all that you get along with your tablet. So this is Too Fat to Tech bringing you all the latest gadgets, tech news, product reviews and anything that I find interesting and useful for you guys. Thanks for watching guys and this is the Asus or Asus as people say, Transformer Prime Tablet 64GB. Catch you later.